My name is Andrew Coleman. I am the manager of our behavioral health care services here at Access. And today I'm here to talk to you all about harm reduction, our syringe service program, our medical services, all related to uh, drug user health care and the access of clean and unused syringes um, through House Bill 5178 here in Michigan. The CDC has shown um, really clearly that individuals who engage in syringe service or harm reduction programs are five times more likely to enter substance use disorder treatment. We see consistently that people who engage in syringe services programs will start engaging in the other things that will make them healthier. Syringe service programs operate in a number of styles. So as you've seen today, there's the fixed site location, a building where people come in, obtain the necessary items and supplies. But we operate this van um, in the community for both harm reduction, syringe services directly into the community, as well as testing services. With our mobile clinic, we're able to reach a large variety of people. By bringing the services to them, or at least one service, we're able to make a connection and a relationship with these people to the point where they, they find some trust in us and maybe they're more inclined to then take that jump and go see the medical provider. After establishing trust and rapport, we really find out that there's a lot deeper concerns, whether it be food insecurity, health insurance status, housing, health care, whatever it may be, the wraparound services that Access has means that we can always pick up the phone, call a colleague in another department and say, hey, I've got this case, how can you help us? And then we really get to work together to, to have that whole centered uh, person care. I'm very grateful that you've taken the time to learn about syringe services and harm reduction and the importance of these programs. Syringe service programs, harm reduction programs are healthcare programs, they are vital, and that we very much encourage that um, you take an honest look at this work and what this means for the community, and um, I look forward to speaking more about this topic.